It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie de la Seine and it's a bottle of their Taras Bulba. It's been described as an extra hoppy ale brewed with noble hop. Sounds good. Noble hop session beer, it says. There's a look at the label. And from what I've had so far from Brasserie de la Seine, I'm just looking forward to this. The beers have been wonderful the last the last few we we have reviewed. There's a bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us from beermerchants.com. Ooh, look at that smoke on the opening and it's just going to come out the top. That's almost, I suppose, the perfect, perfect opening. It hasn't kind of gone everywhere. And it's created a nice bit of smoke, a nice bit of excitement on the opening. Yeah, beermerchants.com, fantastic selection of beer from, from all around the world, really, from beer merchants. Uh, fantastic company, uh, brilliant kind of website. Check it out in the description box of the video. Check out the, the link to their website. Okay, so what we have here is a three to four finger white head. It's slightly hazy. Very light coloured ale. Good levels of carbonation. Let's get the aroma. <clears throat> oh, it's just... It's probably like, like walking through a kind of lemon grove. A lemon and wheat groved, <laughs> grove. Lovely touch of spice there. Touch of citrus. It smells lovely. Really, really lovely. A little bit of biscuity weed. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <clears throat> oh, yes. Stone the Crows, again Stone the Crows Dalasen, Brasserie Dalasen, just produced another fantastic beer. This one's 4.5% ABV and it's just really nice and, it, how can I put it, it's like, a, it's like a fluffy pillow, it's just nice and light and easy drinking but with good levels of carbonation to push the beer on the inside of the mouth and release more of that flavour. That is really nice. <clears throat> There's a small touch of lime, mixed with spice, mixed with mixed with lemon. Mixed with biscuity, bready malts, a touch of wheat maybe. That carbonation really just it does the beer justice. It just it just pushes the beer around on the inside of the palate, releases more of that flavour onto the palate. And yeah, it's just, it's like a bit of a hop explosion going on there. It looks to be a bottle conditioned beer, so let's uh, get the rest out into a glass. And now we got a little bit more of a haze going on now, look, see? Bottle conditioned beer, second fermentation process. If you want to know more about the second fermentation process, give it a little Google and have a read up. Uh, it's basically the brewer will have, add a little bit of yeast or, or, or maybe yeah, maybe a touch of yeast when they bottle it and then the, the rest of the residual sugar that's in the bottle gets eaten up by that yeast and causes natural carbonation in the beer. All very clever. Yeah, have a little Google of it. Um, I feel like that sometimes. But lifting it over my head and then having a straw from the, from the barrel into my mouth. <laughs> Lovely beer, lovely beer. Let's taste it with the yeast added. Yeah, it's just a solid brew. It's just a really solid brew. I'll tell you what I would like to do. Grab the whole range of Brasserie Dallas M beers and just spend a Sunday, maybe have a bit of breakfast about 10 a.m. in the morning 
and then get to about half past 12, crack open your food, maybe this one because it's quite low in the ABV, 4 point, let's say 4.5 percent, yes, and just kind of just enjoy, maybe light the barbecue at three then after a few of the beers and just drink the whole range. Drink the whole range. They've got a great beer called Stout Eric, I think. Uh, that's that's one of their beers. One of the kind of more renowned beers they they're kind of famous for. Brasserie de la Seine. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a rating. I really like that. Look at the look at the beer. Look at look at the way the head retention is. Look at that lovely foam on the glass. Look at the 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 body on the beer. Still very drinkable, nicely carbonated. Oh, just it's just a fabulous, fabulous beer. Really good. The Belgians. This is more of a new world style beer, I would say. And the Belgians, because they they've been brewing beer for just so long. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of years. They just know how to do it. So when it was time for these, uh, what well, we got Brussels beer project. We've got Brasserie Dallasan. They're both from Brussels. When they're kind of producing new world stuff. Because it's in their genes, really, to brew beer. They just seem to know how to do it really well. It just comes natural to them. To jump from, from old school, uh, kind of Belgian quads, Belgian triples, doubles, blondes, lambics, fruit beers. They, just, they, they can jump from that straight into brewing New World beers with loads of hops. Give the beer that same carbonation, give the beer that same fantastic head of mouthfeel, and they're on to a winner, an absolute winner. I'm looking forward to more Belgian breweries kind of accepting this new world way we're all headed in and seeing what they come up with because I reckon they will produce some monumental beers, probably some of the best beers in the world when they get round to it. But it's a bit of a slow pace in Belgium. They just, you know, they just take their time. You know, they've been brewing the same styles for kind of hundreds of years. But they're just good at it. You know, they're just good at it. So give them time. When they get, when they hit the scene, they're gonna hit it hard. I'm telling you, they're gonna hit it really hard. I like that beer. I like the uh, Talas Bulba Extra Hoppy Ale by Brasserie de la Seine. I like that enough to give it a very, very solid 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.